Well, I have only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it. Forced upon me, can't refuse it. Didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it. Give account if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute, but an eternity is in it. Good morning, million dollar round table. I want you to step up to the plate and swing for the fences. Now in America, there's a game we play called baseball. And baseball is a game that really is a game of risk and reward. A pitcher throws a ball to a batter, and the batter's job is to hit the ball. And he must take a mighty swing in order to hit the ball. The bigger the swing, the more chance he'll miss. But the great ones always swing for the fences. They always go all out. They give their best, knowing that sometimes they're gonna miss. I wanna encourage you, as MDRT members and producers, to continue to swing for the fences. Swing all out, give your best. Understanding sometimes you'll miss. It's okay, because when you hit it, you'll knock it out the park. Best-selling author has the number one radio show on Sirius XM, right? Uh, anybody heard of Toastmasters International? Yeah. Any members? 175,000 members ranked him as one of the top five most outstanding speakers on earth, and we got him here. Watch this video, and I'm going to get Dr. Jolly out here. Check it out. Dr. Willie Jolly, everybody. Good morning, New Orleans, Louisiana. Good afternoon, Nashville, Tennessee. Good morning, Richmond, Virginia. Good morning, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Good afternoon, Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning, Tampa, Florida. It's time to get this party started. Are you ready to go to the next level? Let's get it on. I'm ready to get fired up. I talk about transformation. Transformation, transforming your thinking so you can transform your future. Scripture says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's what I want to encourage everybody to do is change your thinking. Most people know me in corporate America for a little company I worked with and helped along the way called Ford Motor Company. In 2005, Ford was on the brink of bankruptcy. They brought in a new CEO for the first time, an outsider named Alan Mulally. He came from Boeing. He said, we got to change the culture of this company or we're out of business. I'm very grateful that Alan Mulally and his team contacted me and they asked me to work with them in, in, uh, in the Ford factory, in the Ford company. And I worked with Ford in 2006, 2007, 2008. As you might remember, in 2009, Ford was the only one of the big three automakers to be able to reject a government bailout and go from losing a million dollars a month in 2005 to making a billion, billion dollars a month in 2010. Now here's the question. Did the economy go up between 2006 and 2008? No, it went down. Did circumstances go up? No, they went down. What changed? Thinking. When you change your thinking, you'll change your future. And that experience with Ford, I learned some secrets on how to build businesses. And I put them in a book called An Attitude of Excellence. Two words that are profoundly important together. Attitude, mindset, excellence, skill set. I always encourage people to work on both. You got to have mindset and skill set. But if you got to work on one first, always start with mindset. Then you work on skill set. How to be excellent at whatever you do. Be better than what they expect you to do. And so that's what I'm encouraging. So that's what I do now. I to major corporations all over the world. 
I've learned over life that you're going to have some defining moments, whether you're a corporation or whether you're an individual. You're going to have some defining moments in your life that you have either live your faith or live your fears. Will you take that step of faith that you'll step out on faith and you'll start doing or you'll back up and live your fears. And sometimes those defining moments are moments that will be thrust upon you. This is an example of a defining moment. This picture was taken in 1995 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the National. Yes, give it a round of applause. Give it a round of applause there. It was at the National Speakers Association Convention in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and there were thousands of speakers in a room, and one photographer who was the official photographer for the convention, he gathered three speakers, said, these are the three greatest speakers I've ever had that impacted my business. And he gathered the other two, and he asked me to get in the picture. I said, why am I in the picture with those guys? Those are the, the, the great ones. He said, because your message impacted my life. And I said, but I don't believe I'm, I should be in that. And, and he believed in me before I believed in me. And sometimes, folks, somebody got to believe in you before you believe in yourself. Let me tell you who those three speakers. I'm on the right side. My name is Dr. Willie Jolly now, but it was Willie Jolly then. And then in the middle was my friend and my mentor, Zig Ziglar, the great, great one. And, I, and then on the left side is my buddy, the one and only Les Brown. And I'm so grateful today. Who would have thought 20 years later I would be standing in the spot where Zig Ziglar used to stand on this tour? I'm so grateful. But I learned something from that I want to share with you. That sometimes you're going to have to live your faith. And sometimes the faith will not come from you, but somebody who believes in you. And I want you to know today, I believe in you. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet.